Pro Playmakers, these are the skills that separate. Welcome to the Pro Playmakers video blog number two, the value of soft catches. Uh, this is a very underdeveloped and underappreciated skill in, in skill development in general. Uh, ability to catch the puck, the ability to catch the puck softly and be able to make plays off of a soft catch is truly another level of development and it's surprising at the number of players who are unable to catch the puck with any level of soft hands, yet they have soft hands in every other aspect of their game. It's a great opportunity for those who are trying to catch the puck softly and learn how to use a soft catch in other aspects of their game. Uh, the goal is to be able to create a silent catch, so that means on any pass, when you catch the puck, you want to do it in such a way that you catch it so that there's no sound. When the puck hits the stick, all you hear is just a sound where the puck is, uh, where the stick is going along the ice. There's no actual sound when the puck hits the stick, which is very difficult to do. It requires a lot of timing. It requires the player to have soft hands to begin with. And it also requires a commitment on the player's part to push through some bad habits in terms of their catching approach to uh, to passes. Um, the next level to a soft catch is actually using it uh, in a shot. Um, so we use it to improve a player's quick release, the ability to catch the puck softly, and then release it creates a one motion uh, movement for the player in, in their shots. It also allows the player, when they're catching pucks and shooting the puck, it allows them to change the shooting release point, which is very important in, in, in shooting. So we use the soft catch technique to help our players improve their shot release and it's a, a very important skill relative to improving shot release. The next level that you'll see uh, to, this shot, to the soft catch is the work that we did with Pat Kane in terms of using the soft catch as another move um, or the first move in a sequence. So we're teaching when he catches the pass to catch it in such a way that allows him to be dynamic and you'll see in some of the clips as to how important it is for him to catch the puck and be able to be dynamic immediately. Where the value to that particular skill is is in high traffic situations. So when you catch the puck in a high traffic situation you're using the catch to move you in a certain way uh, which will allow you to gain open ice, to take the defensive stick out of the play, to be able to create a catch and release situation, or to just encourage the defenseman to reach, which will put you at a position where you can make, make more one-on-one -on -one skills and be more effective and pull the defenseman out of position. So the soft catch is a world-class skill. It, it provides a tremendous opportunity for those players who are trying to get the next level of skill in their game. Um, it's surprising to me at the number of players who don't use this. There's only a half, half a dozen players in the world who currently use this as a tactic in, the, in their games. But it's not a, a difficult skill to have. It's just one that's, like, like I said, underappreciated and underdeveloped. And for those of you who are trying to develop your game to, a, to the next level, developing a soft catch would separate you from everyone else because there's not nobody in your league that would be doing it. So this would be a great skill to have and provide much more dynamic ability for you uh, in terms of your approach with the puck. As you can see in those Paul Gostad clips, Paul is focusing on his weight transfer and using the soft catch to encourage weight transfer and one motion shooting. It's an excellent way of being able to work on a quick release of a player's shot by focusing on the soft catch.